Glad the bones fell favorably. To the bale, then. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel, Branded? Fuck off! Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the veil's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war, y y Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame, thanks you. Moore is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. Likely. Fools there nigh on every night. It's not been half a moon since Bellinus tour. bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Oh, Tatiana, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor, more than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. Bertrand was a loyal patron of the Vale, until his appetite exceeded his means. Now he is loyal to me. Well then, I suppose you're...
Zorath. How many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? Tower should be well stopped. Ah. 
After it.
my boy well don't just stand there gawping rescue him all right where is he my i see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change he's over that way towards the coast go and see that you kill the beast Someone whose son's in mortal danger. He didn't seem all that worried. Something's not right here. I need to be careful. The wolf! It's going to eat me! Not if I can help it. You are supposed to die! Father will have you whipped for this! Bearers aren't supposed to win, they never win! What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that, we were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this! The 
wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Someone needs to put an end to this before it happens again. my son. You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See? I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go, summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. That unlucky wretch would be the dame. I can summon her if you like. Though I doubt she would welcome the interruption. You, uh, you, um, serve the dame. Why would a woman of her caliber... You look afraid. Well, how do you think those bearers in the field felt? Can you imagine their fear? Their pain? From the look of you, I'd say you're starting to get an idea of the first. Now... If you need help with the second... Father, he's scaring me. You think to threaten us, Branded? The dame's pet or no, I, I will not abide such insolence. Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one, a better one? Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this Branded's head clean off his shoulders. I'm wasting my time, but I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do, at least. How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? Victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The Dame. I'm in her service, like yourself. Never gets any easier, burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. 
How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. There is a tools when they're needed, and toys when they're not. Still. kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home, it's gonna tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's less too murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. For the help. You don't have to. Take it. You never know. Our paths may cross again. Till then. Chloe, I let her out of her pen while I did my chores, but she hasn't come back yet. I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? I can't promise I'll find her, but I'll try. Describe her to me. She has beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. And she likes walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big, but she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. It is my job to feed her. In that case, let's not keep her waiting. That's a lot of field to search. With a little luck, someone might have seen her. comes back. Always. You work these fields? I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet. Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's clay thing. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. The windmill. Off with you now. I won't have Idle branded underfoot. Chloe. 
Why are you, girl? Is that... someone napping on the job? I hope they don't mind the interruption. Enough. It's time to go home. Chloe? But why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloe's had pretty hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No. D don't say that. It's true. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. Dad said bearers don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... People of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says. It's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. It's my turn. Let me try. Even a grain is missing. The collectors will have my head on a pie. Yeah. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing, and I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stopped to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. 
Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. If you want my advice, find the merchant quick and speak to him and only him. What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes, uh, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But. Although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound. But as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Uh, be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful, I mean, most helpful. Don't touch anything. And if that's what you want. to have fallen into the dame's good graces. Chance I'd make it through the penitent's gate without someone recognizing me as a deserter. Sid had better have a plan. It smells of death here, Togo. Wolves. <laughs> 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 
have been busy, but the blood is long dry. So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatian. You. Did you follow me? No, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. And by the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <sighs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one. In the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Ah, oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which... I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. I need to tell Isabel. Perhaps the car will give her something to remember Tatian by. <laughs> 